I have to admit, it's nice sometimes just spacing out. Everyone could use a break here and there. Does anyone else think that Alvin's acting kind of weird? Alvin's always weird. You've come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the Schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying reason, Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits, and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland 
Most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Kambalar. Oh yeah, right. Because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius! Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Perhaps this is the opportunity to speak to Wingle that I've been waiting for. Muse certainly is easy on the eyes, wouldn't you say? I guess. Leave Jude alone for half a second and he always comes back with some new girl. Uh, my neck is killing me. Did you sleep on it wrong? No, it's been this way since I was swept into the Fezabel marsh flow. I have a poultice you can use, although it was intended for lower back pain. Jude, it's pretty faint, but I think there's a footprint on your face. Huh. I did have a dream that Agria was repeatedly stomping my head. From the size and shape of that footprint, it would seem that dream was no dream at all. What is wrong with her? Why would she do that? Maybe she was trying to apologize? Saying we got off on the wrong foot? Oh dear. <laughs> I'm going to chalk this one up to a concussion. You don't know how close you just came to getting another boot in your face. 
I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? Ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? Is that what we are? It would seem so. What do you want? Um, it's about Zhao. He's dead. Did you think he somehow survived that? <sighs> oh, know what I heard? I heard he died protecting a spoiled little brat and her stuffed dolly. A fitting end for a foolish old man. How can you? Don't you talk that way about him! You got a problem with me saying the truth? That's enough, Agria. It's not even close to enough. The lives of the Chimeriad belong to His Highness. But that old fool threw his away for some sniveling brat. That's true, but his sacrifice did give His Highness a chance to escape. Hm. He was an idiot right until the end. Always giving me candy when he saw me, like I was some sort of little kid. He just needs to die already. He did. <sighs> With Zhao gone, the offensive might of the Chimeriad has diminished sharply. Bah! I'm all the offensive we need. That goes for you too, Grandma. No one will miss you when you kick off. I'm relieved to hear that. Just you watch. I'll protect His Highness all by myself. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. How am I supposed to relieve this stress when there's no one left to talk to or have a drink with? So, that's it? We're never gonna see Zhao again. <laughs>